So sometimes, no matter how healthy you want to eat, you feel the need for junk food. And there are loads of kind of cute little ways around it and different little recipes that you can do. But sometimes I feel like it's not even the taste you're craving. You just feel that kind of need for something that tastes like it's junk food. And to me, there are various degrees of junk food, but this recipe is something that I always use when I'm feeling like I need something a little bit junky. And it's very, very easy to make, very, very quick, and not too bad on the calorie front. It's probably around 350 calories, give or take. Very, very easy to make, as I said, and it does really give you that kind of um, feeling like you're eating something that's very naughty and fast food style. A couple of things that you can kind of change around here it really depends. Um, I always like to put mayonnaise in mine, which sounds a little bit strange, but I wrap it up with lettuce and that, as you'll see, and I put a little bit of light mayo on it because I'm obsessed with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is like my favorite thing ever. I just, I could eat it with everything and it's delicious, but it's really, really not great for you. And I'm not gonna, I know people will say, try make your own mayonnaise. I'm not gonna do that. So, I have to be careful and don't have it very often, but I really, really love it. And with this recipe, it works really well. And when you're eating it, you really do feel like you're eating something naughty. So I'm gonna um, let you get onto the actual recipe now, even though it's not really a recipe, it's stupidly easy. But I hope you enjoy it. And let me know if you've made it, tweet me pictures. My Twitter name is down in the info bar. So tweet me picture or Instagram or that kind of thing. All that info is down there and show me that you've made it and you can be healthy and still have something a little bit naughty. Hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time. So what you are going to need is, you're going to need one whole grain wrap. So there's loads of different kinds. This is just the one that I've got here. You can do it with whatever wrap you like. You could use maybe um, a rice grain wrap, whatever you like. This is just a seeded whole grain one. And then for the actual kind of pizza flavor, um, you're going to need some tomato puree, Whatever vegetables you want to put on, I always stick to onion and um, peppers. You can put whatever you like on. One thing I would try and avoid is tomatoes. They tend to make it a little bit soggy and it just doesn't really work. But red onion and pepper are fantastic. And then some oregano to just give it that kind of classic pizza taste. And then in terms of cheese, I would normally use this um, fresh low-fat mozzarella, but I'm not going to use this because once you've opened this, you do need to use it up within one day. And I know I'm not going to use it up within one day because I'm not going to be home over the next few days. So I have substituted that for just a small amount of grated um, low-fat cheese. This is just the lighter mature cheddar cheese, which I always think go low-fat with dairy, it's not a problem. So just a small amount of that, I grated it so kind of a little goes a long way. And now I'm going to show you what you need to do. Make sure you put your grill on as well, just on kind of a medium heat and preheat your grill first. So I've put some tomato puree on the wrap, just kind of like a tablespoon or so. Spread it, if you spread it with the back of a spoon, just a little tip, it's much easier. And then I sprinkled the dried oregano on top. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put my toppings on. I like to put my toppings first, make the cheese second. Don't ask me why, it's just something that I feel works better. So just make sure you're kind of dispersing everything nice and evenly. Put my peppers on. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the onion. I absolutely adore onion, like I couldn't live without onion, so I do like quite a bit. But as I said, you could um, do it with whatever you like. So onion and all my peppers are on there. Then I'm gonna go ahead with my cheese. So just really make sure you've kind of got an even part. It's not very nice when you've just got like clumps of cheese. So make sure you kind of get, get it evenly. And you can see you really don't need a lot of cheese in this. It's one of those dishes that I know it's you'll kind of be thinking, yeah, right. But you don't need a lot because the flavor is there. You get the pizza flavor, so you don't need the kind of fattening calorie aspect of it and then I will just go ahead and apply apply you can tell how much I like makeup can't you just um, put a little bit more dried oregano on top just to give it that extra pizza flavor and then I'm just gonna pop this into the grill for 
takes about two minutes and show you what it looks like when it's out so once it's out this is what it looks like and the crust on the outside kind of goes crispy but you want to make sure that the inner part still kind of soft so you can roll it up you could kind of slice it in like a pizza i suppose but it is very thin and it would be a bit annoying so i'm now going to head go go ahead and put my lettuce and just a tiny little bit of like mayo on top of my lettuce and roll it up and show you what it looks and like. here we have the end result so as you can see it looks really really delicious and i promise you try the thing with the lettuce because it really does give it that kind of fast food feel i don't know what it is i don't like lettuce normally this is the only thing i'd kind of have lettuce in at home i tend to prefer like spinach and rocket and more sophisticated salad leaves but in this lettuce works it kind of feels cheap and just naughty so really really hope you try this it's really delicious and i can't wait to eat it